Hi, I'm Cam, an engineer in the Secure section. Today I'd like to show you how to configure a DAST RESTful API scan. A challenge with RESTful APIs is they cannot be spidered like normal websites. This makes it hard for tools like DAST to understand the attack surface of a website. A DAST API scan solves this challenge by using an open API specification. When the scan runs, the specification is imported and parsed. The URLs contained in the specification are used to bootstrap the scan. To demonstrate a working example, I've written a simple REST API. You can see it has an obvious vulnerability. There is a credit card number returned in the response. The open API specification for the REST API is as follows. You can see that it defines the host, as well as all of the endpoints that the API exposes. DAS supports open API versions 2 and 3, and compiles the file as JSON or YAML formats. To configure a DAS scan, First, we need to let DAST know the URL where the specification is hosted using the DAST API specification variable. As the host and port in specifications are often hard-coded, we want to override it to point it to the host port where the API is actually deployed. So we use the DAST API host override. Finally, to get DAST to authenticate with the REST API, we direct DAST to add an authorization header to all requests. You will note in this configuration that we do not need to specify the DAST website environment variable. DAST will infer the target from the URLs contained inside the API specification. If we then trigger a new pipeline with this configuration, you can see the DAST scan starting to execute. And you can see in the log file it says number of imported URLs, 6, which is correct in this case. And then if we navigate to the security dashboard and look at the vulnerabilities, we can see it's found a PII vulnerability uh, because there's been a credit card number found. Hooray! 